G'day, cunts. Welcome to episode number 53, I want to say, of the Greencast. I can't be fucked looking it up. Uh, a podcast by me, Mr. Greentex, where I ramble to myself in my bedroom like a fucking madman. Um, <laughs> yeah, look. Remember when that time I said earlier on in the year when there'd be a new podcast episode? Maybe every week, if not then every two weeks? Oops. That didn't fucking happen, did it? <laughs> And I mean, yeah, look, the main reason that doesn't happen is because that I just don't, nothing particularly overly that has, has happened that's different from day to day. And, you know, that's gotten a lot fucking worse this past couple of weeks slash, uh, like, last month-ish. Good fucking lord, I wonder why that would be. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think last episode, I don't, I haven't really, oh yeah, I actually did record an entire episode last week, and then just didn't upload it, because it was so fucking boring. It only went for like, literally like 20 minutes the entire time. I literally had like, one story to tell. But I actually have stuff to talk about this time, and I've gotten more questions and topics from people than I've ever gotten. Because I started, I'm going to try and start using the community tab, uh, to like, post to people. Because also, I'm realising that YouTube is fucking my reach even more than usual. Um, but my views are slowly going up as well, with saying that. But man, it's just, again, uh, I don't want this to turn into the bitching about YouTube thing, but, you know, fucking hell, man. Uh, I gain subs, I gain more subs than one, okay, let me, let me reword this and fucking think about it before it leaves my, my fucking mouth, hey? I gain more subs not uploading than when I do. Because, man, I've gotten so close to 75,000 so many times this past, like, year, almost. Because I don't know why. <laughs> it's like it grows, it grows, it grows. And then I publish a video, and then I lose, like, 30, 40 subs. It's like whenever I get close, that people realize, oh, yeah, this channel. And they just unsub, or I don't know what the fuck triggers the algorithm to get people to unsubscribe or it clearing people. But, man, that's so fucking annoying and disheartening. Um... But yeah, I don't know, man, as well, I've just been, you know, again, I don't, I'd, I'd want to do these sort of things, like, either at the start or beginning of, the, of weeks, and I don't want them to go in the sort of middle, so I've been kind of putting it off a little bit, but yeah, anyway, I have a bunch of things to talk about here. Um, what do I talk about first? Oh yeah, so let's just talk about how, well, I, I've already talked about all this, but you did fucking hear that episode, lol. Um... Yeah, so how has the Kung Flu been affecting me? Uh, I'll be honest, not overly that much, because I work from home and I'm pretty much self-isolated almost every day anyway. The main thing that's just affected me is just seeing other human beings, really. Which kind of sucks, not being able to see your homies and give them hugs and whatever the fuck else. Because, um, yeah, I mean, you know, YouTube, that's very much at home, doing all this sort of shit. And then the other way I make money is I have a 3D printing business that I just work from home in the garage that I turned into my workshop. <laughs> so my main ways of making money are just staying at home. But the problem is that I've still had to file for unemployment uh, because YouTube definitely ain't paying what it fucking used to be and no one really has any spare money for 3D printed props or whatever the fuck else. So uh, I had to file for that and that's been a whole fucking goddamn fuck around as well, which, uh, uh, I know I have a lot of, like, international sort of listeners as well of this podcast, so I'll give you, I'll give you the quick TLDR rundown of my situation, why it's been so fucking annoying. Um, I've no idea what their sort of system is in America, but, uh, I was actually immediately, I'm okay, I'm immediately sidetracked talking about this, but I was watching a video on Twitter today that was saying that even, like, literally, I'm recording this on the 5th of April? Yeah, 5th of April. And it was saying that to just yesterday, there was 6.6 .6 million Americans for, that filed for unemployment, which is insane to me. Like, we have a population of, like, 20 million or something retarded, I don't want to say. Hey, Google, what's the population of Australia in 2020? 25 million. Okay, yeah, we got it. Hey, Google, stop. Yeah, so it's like 25 million. I, I got I got close, you know, give or take. An extra 5 million, I guess. Um, but yeah, man, that's a fucking huge percentage to suddenly be unemployed. You know, like even the Great Depression didn't have nearly this amount of people. It's a big fucking yikes. 
Um, so yeah, but the kind of hilarious and ironic thing as well is that uh, if this does go through on my end, this to be more money than I was making before, which will be ironic, but to get on the system, our unemployment system is called Centlink where, for, ben- for government benefits, uh, which is nicknamed here in the Australia called the doll. And then there's a whole other subsection of doll bludges, and that's a whole other fucking separate thing. They're kind of like... I was about to explain slang with more slang, but whatever. That's basically the gist of how that works. But um, So to sign up for Centrelink and get the, get the doll, you have to go through a, a sign called MyGov, which that's a whole fucking thing to get into because there's so many dumb security things you have to go through just to log into your own fucking account. Um, and then you have to apply... Well, there's a bunch of different things you can apply for. Uh, there's Youth Allowance, which is for students and younger people. There's Job Seeker, and then there's uh, Pension. Uh, I think Job Seeker slash New Start, same sort of thing. Um, but where I got fucked, particularly, uh, is that I would be getting more money if I was on New Start, but unfortunately, I'm not eligible for New Start. I'm only eligible for Youth Allowance, because the threshold of a beginning for new start allowance is 22. I am 21 years old, and I don't turn 22 for another, what, three months? So I got fucked by three months, man. Like, literally, this whole fucking pandemic shit might go on till my birthday in July. And, I don't know, it might fucking increase by then. But then, because I'm on youth allowance, it's expected that I am financially dependent on my parents, which my parents are also pensioners, living off the pension. They also recently just moved and, like, fully fucking retired into, like, a retirement sort of uh, place. Um, That's why I fucking moved out of house as well. I'm pretty sure I explained that whole situation. Um, But yeah, fucking hell, dude. Because of that, uh, I, through Centrelink, I then have to prove that it's not... It is unreasonable for me to stay with my parents uh, and that they can't support me. So then they had to provide their own income streams, which was just the pension, and that's their whole fucking thing, and it's submit all their taxes for me to receive benefits. Um, and yeah, it's just so fucking dumb that I'm, because I just moved out of home, uh, apparently I'm just still dependent on my parents, even though they're so many fucking many hours away from me now at this point, and you know can't really go to them easily, or any sort of thing like that. Uh, so yeah, but if I was, uh, three months older, that would have been a fucking issue, but fucking here we are, I guess. And, uh, it's, my whole claim is still currently in process, which is fucking fun, as well. That, I submitted that on Sunday, uh, last Sunday, that is. I'm currently recording this on the next Sunday, so it's already been a week, and they have until the April the 23rd to respond. So I could just be out of fucking money for a while, which is great because, you know, bills to pay and everything and uh, I want to die. But anyway, (laughs) moving on from that sort of stuff, I guess. Um, Now, do I want to talk about this? Because I don't know if they'll listen to this. Uh, hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I don't think they will. (laughs) See, this is the fucking problem that I'm also having lately as well. My roommate... I don't know how the fuck this cunt does it, but he has this mad fucking Tinder game. And look, I'm I'm not. How do I how do I word this? He's I mean look, he's not unattractive, but he's not a fucking Chad by any means. He just has really great Tinder game. I don't fucking know how. He's half confused by it as well, but. (laughs) <laughs> this fucking cunt, like, every couple days or so, um, he'd just be like, I, I'm heading out and won't return back to the next morning. Or just be like, hey, a girl's coming over in, like, two minutes. And I'm like, oh, okay, fucking all right. Um, and, uh, you know, since this cunt sends <laughs> so many girls at once, uh, you know, and seeing them for so long, he's obviously talking about his situation. And he's mentioned me around a couple of these girls a couple times. And, uh... A girl that he is seeing, question mark? I don't know. Um, Their roommates in their apartment, one of them was apparently uh, said that I sounded interesting because (laughs) my 
fucking roommate. And I know he's not gonna fucking listen to this tonight, so I don't fucking care. Um, <laughs> fucking cunt. He's the... He, he's talking to these girls about my YouTube channel that I'm fucking anonymous on. So, there's a fucking high chance here, possibly, that I get doxed here at some point by a by someone over Tinder. And <laughs> out of everything that happens, I'd prefer someone over Tinder tries to dox me over some retard that just wants to find my info on my server because, I, I don't know, because they're bored. So, <laughs> I still don't know how I feel about that, because, yeah, look, I know I have a lot of subs, but my views aren't anything to write home about, and, you know, I, I mean, I don't know, I guess it's just because I have more followers than most people, by, like, a, a significant portion, I guess, I guess that's kind of like, you know, people, that's, I don't know, mm, I don't know, I don't like to brag about it too much, because... Even though 75k, when you say it like that, is, is it, I mean, sure, it is a lot. But I feel like once I hit, like, 100k, once I get the fucking play button, which I will fucking get that play button, so God help me, at some point, then it starts to become bragworthy, because then you get, like, immortalized and that sort of shit. I mean, sure, I have the fucking fake one that I made ages ago. Ch go check out that video, where I got a YouTube play button that was totally legit. Um... What was I going with this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he mentions, uh, and one of the girls said that apparently I sound really interesting, which, you know, I don't know. Again, this is fucking, it's hard to talk about this sort of shit without trying to, like, toot your own horn and what sort of stuff. But I like to think I'm interesting, you know. I have some pretty cool hobbies. I like to keep myself fucking busy and whatever the hell. There hasn't been really many days or, or just, you know, there's, there's times or some days where I'm like, oh, I'm kind of bored. But there's not been days where I'm just like, fuck, I'm so bored, I don't know what to do, you know. I can find st I can find things to, for me to do and keep myself busy. Which I feel like is not the same for a lot of people, and I think was also what led into this story's case. Um, you know, roommate, almost that his name, uh, goes off one night, he, or he goes off during the day, off some girl's house, I'm fucking home, working on some cosplays because I've got, you know, nothing better to do particularly. And, uh, it gets to, like, 9 o'clock at night, and then I just get a random DM on my Instagram. Oh, no, I get it, sorry, I get a message on my Facebook, uh, from just, uh, a random girl, and it has no display picture. And I'm like, oh, this is a fucking spam, and then I almost don't accept this thing, because I also send a friend request, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, whatever, I'll, I'll just have a look at it, you know, see what it is. Just like, ah, just fucking, it's just shady virus, just give me the virus, give me the shady virus. Shady link, I'm retarded. It's a shitty vibe. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Uh, and see, this is what I mean when I say ramblings of a madman, dude. This is just straight my thoughts as they leave my brain. <laughs> Why do people listen to this? What the fuck? Yeah, anyway, I'm stalling with the story. Uh, so I get the message. Da -da -da. It's like, it just says, hey. And I'm like, okay. And, I'm, and then the cogs start turning in my brain. And then I'm like, oh, roommate had mentioned the one of the girl's names and I'm like oh it's this person and I'm like ha I almost didn't accept you because I thought you were a bot because you had no picture and then oh, fucking just some dumb banter back and forth I can't remember what the fuck it was and then I get the message hey you should come spend time with us and at this point I already know Mitch is there and I'm like uh I start the, again. The cogs start turning in my brain, and then I'm like, nine o'clock at night. Random girl invites me to her house. Hasn't met me before. No, there's other girls. Hmm, big thing. So I'm like, okay. Uh, how do I play this? And I'm just like, I just message back, just saying, just like, I mean, I don't see why not. And she's like, all right, cool. And then she just gives me, fucking gives me her address. And then I'm like, well, I'll be there in a bit. And fucking have a shower. And then off I go. Uh, to this random girl's house that I've never fucking met either. My roommate is still there. Uh, eventually I get there. Took like, like 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive there from my place. And, uh, I get there and then immediately there's two sisters and then there's another, there's another girl. Um... And then the two sisters and the roommate are like, oh, we're going to get KFC. You want anything? And I'm like, I don't know. I just had dinner, fucking a drink. And they're like, okay. And then they left. Uh, 
and then it's just me and the girl, and this is like nothing really to do in the house, and so we're just you know we put on reality TV, and my fucking <laughs> my ape brain just kicks in, my commentary brain, then I just like do- start doing commentary on reality TV, like I'm recording a fucking YouTube video, trying to make them laugh and just you know have fun with it as well at the same time. And the girl's just, <laughs> all of a sudden, the girl's just like, I want to see if you pass this test. Because uh, so-and-so uh, didn't. And I'm like, uh, okay. And then she leaves, and then she comes back, and she's got a manga book in her hand. And then she just shows it to me. And I'm like, okay, yeah, manga. She's like, do you know what it is? And I'm like, wouldn't have a fucking clue, dude. Don't read manga. And she's like, ah, fuck, okay. <laughs> and then, you know, a bit of a judgment, but, you know. Whatever. I have a whole fucking bookshelf full of full of DC comics, so I can't judge someone for liking anime and, and fucking <laughs> having a manga collection. And then yeah, you know, just doing doing my fucking bit again with commentary. And then they come back, they have their fucking KFC, and then nothing proceeds to happen pretty much the entire time. We kind of just like everyone just kind of ha- hangs out from room to room, and yeah. <laughs> It really happened. It gets to like 1 a.m. or so. Uh, roommate goes with one of the sisters. The, one of the other sisters goes and sleeps in her bed. And then it's just me and the other girl again. And she's like, well, you can either sleep on the couch or sleep in the bed with me. I don't care. And I'm like, I guess I'd prefer the bed. And she's like, oh, that's fine. All right. And then, yeah. Uh, I should have fucking started this with the clickbait story, but oh well, it's always to the end. Uh, slept with a girl that I'd never met before. And by slept, I just mean actually went to sleep in the bed. And then <laughs> with nothing happening at all. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't know what the fuck was happening. It was such a random fucking night, dude. I don't know, man. I felt so weird about it at the same time. I kind of wanted to make a move, but I kind of wasn't. I was really fucking unsure at the same time. So we just talked for like an hour or so. And then we just went to sleep. And then I woke up, and then she wasn't there. And she was studying. And then it was just the same thing that next morning. We are just hanging out from room to room. Before I'm just like, alright. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I'm gonna go play some Doom or something, man. I'm sick of just fucking hanging around here doing nothing. I'm gonna go home and do something. Uh, and so while roommate was trying to impress one of the sisters playing guitar, uh, by playing the same three tunes very fucking badly, I'm just pop my head in the in the room and I'm like, all right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> and just fucking left the next morning, and it was great. I went home. I fucking finished uh, Doom Eternal. Great game. Uh, Marauders, uh, the worst thing to ever exist, though, and, uh, should have been taken out of the game because I nearly put my fist through the wall. Uh, fucking hell, that goddamn game, man. But yeah, that's probably the most interesting thing that's happened to me in a couple weeks is (laughs) fucking going out and sleeping with a random girl, and then nothing happening with said girl. (laughs) But just, also just fucking speaking of girls in general, sorry for the mic hit as well, by the way. Um, f- fucking, like, Tinder especially, I guess it's uh, mostly a combination of factors of people having nothing else to do and everyone else being at home, but I've been getting, like, a lot of matches lately on Tinder, which is really unusual for me, um, but, I mean, it's probably a combination of factors as well, like, uh, I did the original thing. Uh, of, uh, and I totally stole the idea of making a PowerPoint presentation on my Tinder profile that I'm not going to read because I don't want to fucking dox myself in the rare case that the any of the two girls <laughs> that would listen to this podcast are also within range of me, so I'm not going to say anything about that. Uh, but yeah, but occasionally I've been getting girls to match with me and be like, oh my god, I love your Tinder profile. And then proceeds with me. Oh, Ian, that's the other story I want to talk about too. Actually, <laughs> I had a uh, I had a girl exactly that uh, match with me the other day, and then proceeded to tell me, "Holy shit, I love your Tinder profile." And then I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, cheers, thanks." And then you know, try and banter a little bit back and forth because you know she actually I think she had a buyer. I can't remember. That's the trouble a lot of the time with Tinder as well, 
is that the man's expected to make a first move, but fucking what the hell do you message some random girl that has nothing in her bio and three pictures, and two of them are uh, two of them are just her going out with drinks with friends? <laughs> what do you fucking message someone with like that that just doesn't have a fucking personality, dude, or doesn't know how to like portray the personality? I don't fucking know. Uh, so yeah, we banter back and forth before. Uh, my, oh, my opening line on Tinder at the moment is, which is kind of universal and does help a lot of these, uh, people that lack a fucking personality. Um, my opening line is, hey, how you doing during this pre-apocalypse? Which, you know, cheeky, relevant to this current situation. Uh, <laughs> there's another story leading to that as well. I get sidetracked so easily, dude. I'm so sorry. Again, like I said, this is just straight out of my brain hole into your ear holes, man. Brain hole. Yeah, I got a hole in my brain, man. Um, yeah, bantering back and forth. Uh, and then I was we're talking about, like, kids and how I'm more... I, I was saying that I think I'm more worried about kids in public at the moment than I am about adults because kids have no... I don't think a kid can fully understand the scale that things are at the moment and how serious it can be. And, you know, I'm seeing fucking kids still playing in the streets. I was at a park the other day. Totally illegally going to a, uh, a public gym to work out uh, no, don't tell the popo um but those kids just fucking playing soccer like nothing was happening <laughs> uh in the park and i was just saying that i was more scared of kids giving me corona or you know giving me some sort of virus because they're just grubby and they don't, they don't have any perception of physical space and i don't think there's really they again like i just said i don't think they can fully understand how serious this whole pandemic really is. And so I was talking about that. And uh, then she then goes on to say, like, oh, you know, I'm just trying to avoid everyone uh, that I can. <laughs> so then I just hit it back with, are you really, though? You're on Tinder. Are you really avoiding people? And she's just like, ha, yeah, I guess so. You got me. Uh, and then she's like, oh, yeah, you know, da, da, da. And it's probably not going to uh, get any better uh, this time soon, being able to see people. Uh, with all the restrictions coming up. <laughs> so then I'm just like, oh, yeah, I suppose if people want to meet up, they better do it quick then. Me trying to be try to fucking lay some hints down here, like a fucking, I don't know, I was about to say like a Chad, but I'm definitely not a fucking Chad. You know, trying to be a bit playful, trying to be a bit flirty, trying to, you know, <laughs> trying to fucking imply something here. And she's, you know, she's kind of half responding, like uh, she's down. Uh, until it gets to the point where I'm just like, fuck it, it's Tinder, who gives a shit, I'm gonna shoot my shot, who cares at this point? And, uh, I was gonna, I was, I was gonna just, you know, wish I was gonna do, it's like, oh, you know, do a cute coffee date or something like that. You can't sit down in any of these places if they even are open, so I'm like, what can we do? Uh, one of my roommate's go-to things is taking a girl on a hike. So I message her exactly that, I'm like, hey, do you want to go on a hike? Uh, and then she messages back just saying... Uh, I you know. I, I I just want to get to know you a bit more. Improve that you're not a murderer. And I'm like, ah, yeah, that's probably fair to be honest. And so then I'm just like, hmm, that, I don't know. You know, she didn't immediately respond afterwards. So I'm like, hmm, what else? I know that I'll, you can still do takeaway. So I'm like, oh, why don't we go to this specific uh place near a beach? Get some chips. Uh, have some lunch by the beach. You know, giant public area like that. You know make her feel a lot more safe um and then again she's just like oh you know i just want to get to know you a bit better uh here's my snapchat and i'm like fuck yeah boys we in i got a fucking snap <laughs> this is also her idea by the way i did not ask her for any other social media because typically with tinder that's the sort of thing that you want to you want to get off tinder as quickly as possible um so it was a good sign to me that they initiated giving me their social media afterwards so I'm like, alright, cool. Added her on Snapchat. This is also like 12.30 at night. Uh, add her, message a couple times, da 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 banter back and forth. And then she's like, alright, uh, I'm going to bed, I'll interrogate you in the morning. And I'm like, alright, cool, lit. Uh, fast forward to the next morning, I get nothing. And then it gets to like 4pm in the afternoon the next day. Uh, and then I message her on Snapchat. And I'm just like, hey, what do you want to know? And then move on with my life, fucking I'm doing other things. Just like five or six p.m. and I'm like, oh, I, she hasn't opened my thing yet. Let me just uh, let me just double check Snapchat and see how that goes. See if she's opened it yet. 
open Snapchat, and there's a a, a grey arrow next to her name instead of a blue arrow. And I'm like, what the fuck? I open it up, and there's a message in Tinder that says, This person will receive your message and is pending until they add you as a friend. And I'm like, wait a minute. Uh oh. So then I open back up on Tinder. She's unmatched me on Tinder. And she's fucking unfriended me. After I. <laughs> and I. After. After it was her idea to fucking get to know me. And I'm like, what do you want to know? I don't know whether I was too forward. <laughs> I don't know, man. But that car. I mean, fucking. Man, it sucks dick to be ghosted. But I guess the thing I'm just most salty about is the fact that it was her fucking idea for her to give me her Snapchat. To get to know me better, and then proceed f- to not ask me any fucking questions, because I half asked her that night, and she's like, "Ah, oh, I'll think of something tomorrow." And I'm like, "All right, cool." And then I don't know if I should have waited. She probably would have unmatched me anyway, probably for the best. But fuck, man, yeah, it's just not a good feeling to get ghosted, dude. As <laughs> sucks, dick. <sighs> but that was that Tinder story. I've never, bro, I've never talked to this many chicks once in my life. It's such a weird time, but I guess, again, it's a lot of factors of everyone else being home and that sort of thing. Um, oh, yeah, the other thing that, uh, so, yeah, my my go-to line, like I was saying before, how you doing this pre-apocalypse? I messaged that to another girl uh, just today, actually, uh, and then she responds a couple minutes later. Uh, and she just says, are you okay? No question mark, no punctuation. And I'm like, oh no, this line didn't go down properly at all. Didn't get my sarcasm. So I'm like, all right, I'm fucking doubling down and seeing what she says. So then I say to you, are you okay? I'm like, I'm surviving. Got plenty of things to keep me busy. And you know, just try and avoid the collapsing society around me. Throwing up shrugging emoji. And then she just says, right. And then I'm like, okay, okay. This person doesn't get sarcasm. Got it. <laughs> so I just messaged her. I'm like, oh, well, what about you then? How are you surviving? And then she just says one word. Fortnite. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is the lost cause here. And I'm like, whatever. F- fucking A. And I'm like, ah, that's fair. I've somehow avoided Fortnite. And it's the one game I just have not never played. And I'm like, oh, I've been tearing up Warzone, though. And then she just says, wow, okay. And I'm like, all right, okay. You have no personality, cool. And then I just (laughs) fucking left it. (laughs) So yeah, fucking, man, Tinder's whack, man. Tinder's whack when you know how to do it, I guess. There's another girl that I've been talking to on and off that hasn't seemed to unmatch me yet, which is a good sign. Cute as fuck, don't know why the fuck she's talking to me. She did say that my... Profile is the most creative thing she's seen on Tinder. So that might be a good sign. I don't know. I got a TikTok. I guess you could say it's getting pretty serious. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. But, oh, that's the fucking thing you get, though. That was annoying as fuck. Again, man, I'm really shit at this anonymous YouTube stuff as well. Because, uh... Ah, fuck it. Is it going to be doxing? Basically, I've got, like, a meme in my bio with, uh... Like, you know, that, like, the two pointer fingers together... You know, like the shy, like the shy girl thing. Um, and she's like, "Oh, do you breast? Do you are you a TikTok user? Because of the uh, the two fingers thing." And I'm like, "Oh, no, nah, I try and use TikTok as more of a creator than a user. I don't really want to go down that hole." And she's like, "Oh, you make content, do?" You? And I'm like, "Oh, why did I say that, dumbass? Yeah, of course." And then I'm like, "Oh, fuck." So I just just get for my TikTok, which is Mr. Green Dex. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, fucking oops. Yeah, by the way, I'm anonymous. Please don't dox me." And she's like, "Oh, okay." She said she liked my content. Been bantering back and forth a little bit about it. She gave me her TikTok, talking about it to hers. Half, half talking on Tinder every now and then. But yeah, man, fucking, <laughs> it's a wild time in my life. It's a wild fucking time. It's a wild time in everyone's lives, I suppose. I guess. Um, what else have I been doing here? I think it's about the extent of all my Tinder stories that have been going on here at the moment. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Again, I think the the giant motivating factor here is the fact that how well my fucking roommate does on it. <laughs> That's why I did this fucking PowerPoint. Which also, I don't know if said other person will listen to this. Uh, there's a, there's a chance that they might. 
but a certain uh, one of my friends, uh, I showed them my Tinder profile because uh, we were talking about Tinder and whatever the fuck else and how I was going on there. And I showed them my PowerPoint. And they didn't like it at all. And I think it's pretty good. And everyone else that I've shown it to thought it was a pretty good fucking meme when it was having a lot of giggles. I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's kind of cringe. And, you know, they're basically just telling me to go back to what I had before and, you know, oh, use this picture, da da da. But your bias pretty good. And I'm like, ah, I don't know, maybe. And then just, like, half ignored their uh, advice about my Tinder profile. And, uh, yeah, every time I've been getting a match with someone complimenting my PowerPoint, I've been sending them a sc- <laughs> screenshot of them to spite them. Because I'm like, oh, I don't know, I think it's pretty good. And they're like, nah, 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 it's cringe. You don't want it. And I'm like, hmm, we'll see about that. And they'll almost just <laughs> ignore their fucking their, uh, advice out of spite. So, yeah, if you're listening, lol. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> um, but, 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 what else do I have to really say? Um, this, oh, okay, there's a couple more things. We'll, I'll talk about Corona in general, and then I'll fucking move on to some other shit, okay? Um, the restrictions in Australia, because I know it's different all around the world here. Um, a couple days ago, the Prime Minister and the government <laughs> just put in some new, some new rules about uh, social distancing. And that sort of stuff. Basically, you're not allowed public gatherings of more than two people now. And you're also not allowed any people around at your house. Um, unless you live alone, you're allowed one other person around. Um, you're not allowed to leave the house unless it's for any uh, essential food runs or anything else like that. However, I think this is how my fucking roommate's getting around it as well. Uh, this excludes... Uh, you're allowed to leave your house if you're seeing a romantic partner, which is a kind of a fucking loophole, I guess, because, you know, anyone on Tinder could be a fucking romantic partner, I guess, so that's a bit of a f- fucking loophole as well, um, but yeah, man, it's getting kind of serious, uh, the toilet paper war seems to be fucking over, everywhere that I've been to the past week has just had a fully stocked aisle, so I guess all the retards that have bought toilet paper, and four fucking, you know, 48 packs of it have realized, oh, this is actually going to last me till next year, because I don't shit that often. Uh, so yeah, we're good for toilet paper, like, we literally didn't even buy any particularly, any extra. I bought, like, a six pack, so I'm like, oh, I'm unsure, and my friends are like, we have a whole extra pack that we bought before the move, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, we didn't actually need this nearly at all. <laughs> so yeah, we're good on toilet paper, meat seems to be coming back. The shortage of stuff seems to be going okay a lot now. It's mostly just like pastas seems to be the big thing that is still kind of like out of stock mostly. Um, and productions of other items seem to have gone down a little bit in the bakery section of other places like Coles and Woolies. Which is again to be expected. If they don't have nearly as big of a workforce, they're not going to have the more, you know, exotic items and that sort of stuff. Uh, what other restrictions have been put in place? You obviously can't travel from state to state anymore. I think he's still that in America, which is kind of whack to me as well. Um, but yeah, man, fucking yikes. We're in the early stages of Plague Inc. here, lads. I, just, I, okay, I literally played Plague Inc. literally last night as well, because I'm like, I haven't played this in ages. And then quickly put it into perspective, I'm like, oh, I wiped out the entire human race in under two years. Uh-oh. It can get real serious real fucking quick with mutations and that sort of shit and kind of put it in perspective and how serious they could actually be. So I think that's actually what they should do with the education system to educate people. They should just get them to play play gink. I think that's how you solve the uh, hysteria and get how and get how to get people to take it more seriously. Just get them to play fucking play gink. Also, I think it would be interesting to see the statistics of play gink and see how many people have named their fucking virus, either COVID-19 or coronavirus, I bet you that's literally all they're getting here right, <laughs> right now. Um, a lot of other retail stores have put in place uh, social distancing rules. Bunnings, for example, uh, a store that I seem to be at every other fucking day, uh, which is our sort of like local hardware store, like a fucking, uh, 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 what's it called? Yeah, you, you know what I'm fucking talking about, like a hardware store and that sort of shit. Like a Home Depot sort of shit. Um, and they're massive aisles, they're only allowing four people now, which means the high, high foot traffic aisles, like the, the screws and the bolt aisles, you just can't fucking go down, because there's, there's a queue to go into aisles, and then you have to wait people, 
wait for people to browse the aisles, get the shit, and then fucking leave. Um, there, you have to then queue and be directed to cash registers now. Uh, and the because it's 1.5 meter rule from the entrance of the bunny store that I went to the other day, I was queued literally to the other end of the store to get to a fucking cash register, and it was uh, not a fun time. And I wanted to browse to try and find some stuff, and I just fucking couldn't and didn't want to risk it at all because there's just such chaotic shit going on at the moment here. And before you ever go at me, uh, I was uh, buying stuff for my business, so <laughs> it was essential. So eat a pant, cunt. <laughs> uh, what else do I have here on my fucking list here? Boop, 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 boop. Do I want to talk about that? I don't think I talked about it the other time. Uh, hmm, big think. Do I want to talk about that? Yeah, fuck it, why not? I was offered acid the other day. And I was a good Christian boy, and I did not take it. And that's actually been serious. And here's why. Basically, uh, a friend who also maybe listens to this podcast as well. Hello, if you're watching, listening to this, lol. Um, they definitely know who they are. <laughs> uh... Yeah, they really, really want me to get get me to do acid with them. And they really want to open my third eye, to quote them, as they kept saying to me. As they would put their fingers on my forehead and would do an opening motion like they were opening my third eye. Just to make a bit more dramatic effect. And, I don't know, man. I definitely... Look, I haven't even smoked weed before, dude. There's no way that fucking acid is going to be my first drug, dude. Like, uh, I'm I'm open to doing weed, but it has to be in the right situation, and I'd be much more comfortable with a trip sitter. Um, same with edibles, I guess. Um, you know, obviously with someone that knows this shit, just like, here's a full uh, weed cookie, bro. And, you know, it's got like, I don't know, fucking 20 milligrams or whatever the fuck. I don't know how this stuff works, man, obviously. So don't roast me too hard. Um, both weed and mushrooms, because they're the only, the only, like, truly... Uh, what's the word? The 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 only non-manufactured drugs. Like I, I I'm not. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm not fucking doing acid. And if I'm doing acid, I'm not doing it as my first fucking drug, man. The amount of people that I've you know they kept saying it's gonna change my life, and I don't really know if I want my life changed. To be honest, <laughs> I'm kind of happy with my life at the moment, apart from you know the the crippling society that that's uh currently going through and the debt and that sort of shit but that's beside the point i don't know if i want my life fully changed like that by a fucking drug man and that's all i have to really say about that lol hit me up again said person if you're listening to this if you want to do some fucking weed together because you're not fucking doing anything and neither am i (laughs) um Oh yeah, I suppose we'll talk about it as well. Idubs is not a simp. And here's why. Y'all are fucking just virgins that have never fucking touched a woman before and have no concept of relationships and that sort of thing. And you know, if you the video, you fucking kill the man. She's been a hoe online. Cunt doesn't even sell nudes online. Like, sure, she can be a bit cheeky. She's got an OnlyFans, so that's her fucking job, to be a bit cheeky. But people that are lewd can have relations with people, and if they're fucking comfortable with it, fucking go for them. Empower them, whatever the fuck else. But, <laughs> you know, calling him a simp or whatever the fuck, and a, simp, a simp and a cuck, I don't think it's justified nearly by any stretch of the imagination. If he's fucking fine with it, who gives a fuck? Who cares? But he's not... She isn't sleeping around. All she's doing is taking lewd pictures. She's not fully... She's not emotionally engaged with anybody. She's not sleeping with anybody but I dubs. <laughs> In fact, out of all the like sexual or lewd sort of ways that you can make money off your body... And OnlyFans, I think, is probably the literal most tame that you could probably get. And, I mean, look, definitely in my opinion, I, I mean, I'd date someone if they had an OnlyFans. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit if they even do lewds, for God's sake. 
you know, <laughs> if I'm in a relationship with someone, you know, I definitely, I, I trust them to not cheat on me. I don't give a fuck if they have nudes. I'll fucking take, I'll take your fucking nudes. I don't give a fuck, man. Um, I don't think I date a stripper. And it's not because I don't trust them. It's just a different sort of environment that I don't know if I'm comfortable with. Uh, like, it's, it's, there's something different to me about being... It's also just, like, you know, something about, like, being in control of that as well. There's, there's definitely a level of control that you can have over, like, your body online rather than, you know, in person stripping and that, doing that sort of thing. Um... And yeah, the, uh, stripper, not a not a prostitute, whatever the fuck else. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, that's just my fucking opinion. Who gives a fuck? Uh, you know, I just m- m- also much prefer to be in a monogamous relationship. There are people that are happy being in open relationships and being polyamorous. Is that the right word for sleeping with other people while being in a relationship? I don't know, but that's also just not for me. But that's also not what fucking Idubs and his girlfriend are, and I don't understand this whole thing. I I think what it just comes down to is that a lot of these people that grew up with Idubs being, you know, being the guy, and I'm not going to fucking censor it here, you know, being the guy that popularized the phrase nigger faggot, <laughs> I guess they're all butthurt that the, his girlfriend, you know, is not being the fucking, what's that? What's the name of that meme of the the girl with the blonde hair and the long uh, blue dress with white flowers? What's that fucking meme? Like the normal fucking that that meme sort of thing? And they're bad that that's not her to Idubs and that she's exposing herself to other men. That's not like, you know. Again, there's no nudes. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Cunt's making so much money, dude. Like, yeah, it just, like, annoys me, confuses me more than anything else, man. Um, yeah, and that's all I have to really say about the fucking item situation. But anyway, speaking about autism, let's get on to the most autistic part of this podcast. And that is, of course, where I take questions, topics, and queries from a bunch of you people. So, I'm opening it back up again to, like it was the old days. Uh, do not comment on the latest post, uh, because I'm going to make a new one. Uh, it'll be post, so there'll be a community tab post that'll go up, uh, sort of mid next week-ish, and then it'll be up for like four or five days. I did sort of late notice yesterday for questions. Um, but yes, there'll be a community tab post mid sort of next week, so some leave comments on there, or you can go on my Discord, or if you want to remain sort of anonymous, you can email me at mrgreentext at gmail.com, that's mrgreentext with an S, on the end of that. So anyway, with all of that spiel, uh, let's go on to that post, which actually had quite a few comments. The, I, I also stopped doing the community tabs uh, post stuff because it just got a point where it got fucked and just would not be pushed to anybody. Um, I think it's people with notifications they get these, but it's only through like mobile most of the time as well that you see this. Um... So, yeah, and I was getting a point where I was like, getting, like, three comments, and I'm like, I have 70,000 subs, why is it getting three comments, what the fuck? Um, anyway, let's see. Uh, Paradox Guy says, you have probably been asked this before, but do you have any sort of story that you read out, or have read out a story of yours if I don't expect an... What? <laughs> Sorry? Let me, re- let me read this question again. Okay, I'm going to read this as it's written. You have probably been asked before, but do you have any story that read out or have already read uh, a story of yours? You probably been, do. You have any story that read out or have already read a? St- Is he asking? Have I read a story that I've written? Remember how I was just joking about how <laughs> a lot of these people are autistic and retarded. <laughs> I don't know if it's a joke. <laughs> I, if you, if that's what you're asking, if you're asking if I've read a story that I've written, I, if I think that's the second part of it, no, I have not. I have written one. I screen capped it. I might read it one day. I want to see if it appears anywhere else before I do anything with it, and it's also pretty personal. 
and there's a chance the person might see it because it involves them, but at the moment it's... Uh, no. I have not. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Wee Boy says, Have you ever given a public statement on the great Chris Chan? I'd love to know your thoughts. Uh, I definitely don't know fully enough or done so much research into Chris Chan. Um, I mean, I have watched, like, the Mad Lads on him. Um, but yeah, I don't know. He's a fucking, you know... I don't know what you want me to say about Chris Chan, other than, yeah, he's a fucking internet troll, and whatever. Cunt loves attention. I mean, isn't he, like, fucking trans now, which is funny? Um, I think I was literally exposed to Chris Chan the first time. Um, back when I'd occasionally actually browse 4chan. There was just a video of him furiously jacking off while, uh, singing All Star. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, oh, Chris Chan at it again. And I'm like, fucking who? And then went down that rabbit hole for a bit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Chris Jan, fucking troll, lol, <laughs> peak Sonic Shoe, that's always a good meme. <clears throat> uh, what the fuck? Okay. Quibus Quankus, uh, pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right, and if it's a meme, so be it. Uh, how thick do you like your bread? So, <laughs> personally with my bread, I like a, like a medium sliced bread, you know, not, not too slim, not too thick. Because, uh, you know, I wanted to be able to actually fit in my toaster, uh, per se. Uh, you know, and you don't want too small, because you don't want it to break apart in your hands. And you don't want it to be so fat that you can't get your gob around it. So, you know, I get a nice, nice, nice medium thick bread. <laughs> uh, Mumix Mumix asks, talk about the most comfortable green text you've ever read. Now, I already know which one it is that comes to mind. I can't remember the title of it, but I already know the context of it. And this is a green text that I was like 12 minutes into reading, and then I just realized I can't post this at all because of a particular part that it went into. And this is 40, 50 minutes into a podcast, and no one's going to fucking listen this far into it anyway, it, for anyone of importance at YouTube, so I'll fucking give details here. Basically, it quickly turned into one of those like Lolita sort of style stories where it gets into very graphic detail of a sexual experience, and it went into very detailed, <laughs> very detailed uh, descriptions of this. These two people, these two roommates, uh, a male and a female, who had been flirting with themselves, f flirting with each other the entire time, of them masturbating together, and then like finishing on each other. And I'm like, I can't read. I can't pop this, upload this to YouTube. And I just had to stop the recording. I just had to dump it, because it's like, oh, there's just nothing I can do with this. And, like, I'm reading it, and then I'm like, oh, I'm like, like, halfway through, I'm just like, oh, no, I can't, just, I can't do anything with this, man. I can't do anything with this. <laughs> Fuck that off. Uh, along the sort of same line, uh, SG Max asks, are you going to read longer stories like Blind Mute Lolly or Story Bros, <laughs> Story Bros Sleepovers and Road Trip? Um, again, along those sort of lines... The rules are fucking, again, I don't like the Winces stories. They're kind of funky and disgusting as well at the same time. There's a difference between, like, oh, no, like like the stepbro porn on, like, Pornhub. Like, sure, it's kind of weird, but also at the same time, you know, it's just playing up the stereotype and being funny. Where a lot of these is just, like, actual people's fantasies and may or may not be inspired by real events as well. And it's just a lot more fucked, in my opinion, as well. And, yeah, I don't want to risk that on my channel at all. If you want that, go listen to, uh, what's his face? He has stopped uploading now. I can't remember his name. Another green text reader. He's British. Can't remember his name. Fuck. And I'm definitely not going to put it in the description, because I'm going to fucking forget. Go listen to him. Uh, he's long since gone. Um... Uh, and I don't know why I'm answering this question, but, uh, whatever, I don't give a fuck again. <laughs> We're deep in the podcast, who gives a shit? Uh, Liam Ahmed says, I want to know what sort of porn you watch. And I'll be honest, my go-to most of the time is cosplay, because I'm a fucking nerd that gets aroused by people of pop culture, lol. And if you really want to get into it fucking further, the one that I, <laughs> particular person I've been into a dumb amount lately... Uh, they're on Pornhub. Their name is K K Yuti, I think it's how it's pronounced. Uh, K Y U double T Y. Uh, yeah, it's some of the hottest stuff I've ever seen. Lol. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and I'll be honest, a lot of you people that ask questions in my Discord channel, they're all kind of shit questions. And I'm not answering any of them or even acknowledging them because I can't be fucked. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, again, if you want to send any questions to me or topics, uh, go on my community tab post, they'll be up sort of mid next week, uh, or drop them in the Discord, and I'll probably ignore those ones, because most of the time they shit. Uh, but yeah, I suppose it, we're, <laughs> look, we're getting into the horny part of the podcast, the last couple questions, so let's keep that going with the secret phrase of this podcast. So if you meant it the whole way through this almost an hour long podcast, I haven't done one of these this length in a while, uh, be sure to include the word porn. You're getting around the fucking free porn on premium. What sort of porn do you watch? Who's your favorite porn star? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. If you include the word porn in the comments, I'll be sure to give you a little fucking heart. Anyway, I'll catch you later, cunts, and my name's Jeff.